On the 82nd day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 82 cats of frying, 81 cats of broiling, 80 cats of baking, Enough. 79 Ow. cats of toasting, 78 cats of boiling, Enough. 77 cats of sizzling, 76 cats of poaching. Enough. Enough. No more. Fine. Not only are we spending Christmas in some desolate cabin with no running water, we're not allowed to sing. You can sing, just don't sing about you know what. What? Roasting cats. <laughs> I didn't say roasting. I said frying, boiling, baking. You know what we mean. Right, right. No cat songs. Dad, do you think there's going to be snow? Uh, yes, hopefully. Oh, great. No running water, no cat songs, and no snow. We should have tied them to the roof rack. Why are we stopping here? This is it. This is where we're going to spend our Christmas. Well, why didn't you just get a manger? <laughs> Let's check this out. You check it out. I need to check out the outdoor plumbing. <laughs> Come on. Well? Well? What do you think? It's, uh, rustic. I think it's me. Brian, I was, I was just about your age when I spent Christmas here with my whole family. And I, I don't think Mr. Foley, I don't think Mr. Foley's changed a thing. Kitchen could use some updating. Look, look, this is where we put our stockings. And, and the tree was right over there. And then on Christmas Eve, we, we drank hot apple cider with cinnamon and sang Christmas carols until the wee hours of the morning. This is going to be that sort of a Christmas, a Christmas full of warmth and love and joy. Help, help! I'm stuck in the outhouse! <laughs> Hold that thought. Warm up all your holiday activities with something new. McDonald's Holiday Chicken McNuggets. In festive 9 and 20 piece packs. Tasty chunks of chicken and two new sauces. Tang cranberry with a twist of orange. And sweet apple spiced with cinnamon. Better chime in. Before holiday McNuggets are gone. What do your wondering eyes now appear? Only at Burger King, it's Cuddly Reindeer. There's Rodney, Ramona, Rhonda, and Randy. At $1.99 each, the price is just dandy. Come in and buy any large sandwich here and pay just $1.99 for your reindeer. <laughs> Collect all four at a Burger King sign. Get your reindeer right now and the best food for fast times. Thanks a lot. Merry Christmas. Folgers. Hey, hey, careful with that box, Willie. That's precious cargo. Well, gee, what's in it? It's so heavy. Your color TV. <laughs> well, you said there wouldn't be any TV up here. There is no TV because there is no electricity. You see, you can't run a TV without electricity. Oh, great. There goes the Perry Como special. <laughs> What's in this one? Your microwave. But it seems like a moot point now. 
Well, what happened was my dad lost his job, and then we lost our house. How do you lose a house? No, no, no. We didn't actually lose the house. We, we just we couldn't afford to make the payments anymore, and we had to get out. Well, it was the middle of December, and we were literally out in the streets when Mr. Foley heard about what happened, and he said that he had this cabin up in the woods that he hardly ever went to, and we could stay there for as long as we had to. You know, that Christmas, we, we had nothing. We had absolutely nothing. No presents, no toys, nothing. But I think that was the best Christmas I can remember. Where was Mr. Foley? He, he was at his house in town. I bet it had indoor plumbing. <laughs> So, last month we got a letter that Margaret was ill, and since they weren't going to be using the cabin... You jumped at the invitation. We're not getting through here. It's just a phase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I know we're going to have a great time. Deck the dump with boughs of holly! <laughs> la 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 here you go, Willie. Hang the holly. <laughs> Where'd you find this holly? Out back. Oh, I like your sweater. Well, thank you. It's the Perry Como look. <laughs> it's stunning. You know, it looks a little bit like... It is. It's the Christmas present I bought for Willie. Oh, take off the sweater. What are you doing with it? Wearing it. I looked pretty silly in your new robe. Honey, did you get me a robe? Apparently. Well, what do you mean, apparently? It's right in that box next to Brian's bicycle. I get a bike for Christmas? Oh, boy! Can I have it now? No, no, son. You can wait till Christmas morning, can't you? Okay. Alf, these are Christmas presents. They're supposed to be opened on Christmas Day. And they're supposed to be surprises. And they're not from you anyway. Sure they are. Look at the tags. To Willie from Alf, to Kate from Alf, to Lynn from Alf, to Al from Alf, to Brian from Alf. Did you change these tags? When do I have time to shop? He changed the tags. He put his name on Brian's bicycle, and then he told him what it was. Well, I didn't tell him it's red. It's red? I just said that to throw him off the track. Well, what do you mean he is getting a red bicycle? Not exactly. As you and I know, it's a bicycle kit. Yeah, some assembly is required, yes. Some assembly? Have you read the instructions? What is required is a pair of pliers, a screwdriver... ...and someone who has a vague idea of what they're doing. I think I'll hang the holly. Dad, wait. I don't think that's holly. Well, what is it, then? I think it's poison oak. Kate? Is this poison oak? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know, honey. Uh, Brian is the Cub Scout. How can you tell? Elementary, Willie. Once a week, the kid puts on a blue uniform and goes to a meeting. <laughs> Are you finished? Uh, unless I hear laughter in the next few seconds. I withdraw the Cub Scout joke. Go on with your lives. <laughs> what makes you think this is poison oak, B? Well, it has three leaves. Okay, start pumping. <laughs> Running water would come in handy now, wouldn't it, Wilco? You don't understand, do you? You just, you don't understand anything about Christmas, do you? You think it's just opening presents and being a general nuisance. Honey, I don't think well, you isn't it do time, right isn't now. it about time that he had a little consideration for the rest of us? Now, take that poison oak and dump it way out in the woods. Don't hurry back. This 
Miss Brian and Lynn. This is Mr. Foley. Hi. Hi, uh... Hi, Mr. Foley. It's nice to meet you. Now, we were just thinking about fixing something to eat. Won't you stay with us? Oh, no, thank you, Mrs. Tanner. I was just on my way to deliver a truck full of toys to the hospital, and I thought I'd stop by to see if you needed anything in town. Truck full of toys? You know, every year, Mr. Foley repairs toys the children have thrown away. And on Christmas Eve, he takes them into town to the hospital, and he gives them out. Oh, no, not quite, Willie. You see, I deliver the toys to Santa Claus, and he gives them to the children in the hospital. Whoa. Now, tell me, how is Mrs. Foley any better? Well, you mustn't keep Santa Claus waiting. Good day. A replica of a Batu spaceship. <laughs> Perfect for Brian. Doesn't fly. Wait, Mr. Foley. Mr. Foley, is, is, is there anything wrong? I mean, oh, oh, I almost forgot the uh, Christmas present. Oh. Now, promise me you won't open it until Christmas Day, eh? <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Hey. A rolling cat platter. Perfect for Lucky. I'll give it to Kate. Uh-oh. Margaret passed away two weeks ago. I didn't have time to write to everybody. Uh, Mr. Foley? Mr. Foley? <laughs> Come on out. Follow me. While GE lights come in many sizes, shapes, and colors, none shine quite so brightly as those that light your holidays. The holiday lights from GE. Come on, Teddy. Enough Christmas for one day. Okay, Mom. Season's greetings from your Pepsi bottler. On the first day of Christmas, I left the Hallmark store. With the stuffed toy named Rodney Reindeer. On the next day, I bought Rhonda, and then I added more. Now fire to the song of four, dance with Rhonda. Hallmark, thank you. Three puppy toys, two girls and boys, one more for the treat. And the stuffed toy named Rodney Reindeer. Give Rodney and Rhonda Reindeer this Christmas. They're only at Hallmark. Well, now, what is your name? Katie. Katie. Katie, I have something for you. It's cute as you. It looks like you. You have a Merry Christmas, Katie. Oh. <laughs> I want to bite the ball in the mitt. Oh, I'm sorry. One to a customer. Then that's the ball in the mitt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now, what's your name, son? James. Well, James, I got a bat and this funny-looking thing here. What is it? I'm not sure. Pass. Hmm. Hey, I don't remember bringing this in here. Here's an ugly looking thing. Yeah. Got big ugly ears, big ugly eyes. I think she's beautiful. <laughs> she's heavy and she looks. Thank you, Santa. Oh, you're welcome, darling. 
I wish I had a present to give you. Oh, that's okay. You know, Christmas isn't about presents. It's about giving of yourself. You've given me a most wonderful gift by saying thank you. I'm going to name her Amanda. <laughs> My name is Tiffany, and I'm eight years old. How old are you, Amanda? You're eight years old, too? That's great. Would you like to put your feet up? You would? OK. Tiffany, hop into your bed. It's time to take your temperature. OK. But Amanda wants you to take her temperature first. Amanda? Oh, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Let's see if I have an extra thermometer with me. Oh, here we go. OK, Amanda. This won't hurt a bit. Now open up. <laughs> Okay, now let's take Tiffany's temperature. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, Tiffany. Good night. Good night, Amanda. Amanda, dear, do come in. I'm so glad you could come and visit this evening because we have so much to talk about. Would you care for some tea and cookies? I find that everyone in the hospital is very nice, except they're all too busy to really talk to you. Here, let me serve you. Yes, they are very good. I made them myself. <laughs> Who's your favorite TV star? Mine, too. He is such a hunk. We have so much in common. Yes, there used to be another girl here, but they moved her to a different room. Her mother was afraid she might get depressed if we became friends and... You know what you need, Amanda? Earring. Here's a beautiful pair. They'll look fabulous on you. Pink is definitely your color. Hold it. This is where I draw the line. I've got a level with you, kid. My name is Alf, not Amanda. And, and blue's my color. I'm a boy. You can talk. Yeah, and it's a good thing, or you'd have me wearing a bra by now. <laughs> Mind if I have another cookie? This is fantastic. A stuffed animal that talks. And eats cookies. I've got to show Nurse Hilliard. Oh, no, no, please. Don't tell anyone. Why not? Well, because I'm not a stuffed toy. I'm real. And I'm in danger. You've got to help me get home. But Santa gave you to me. You're mine. I guess I'd better explain. Come here. Yeah, this is all I got left, Tiffany. I like him better than Amanda. Are you sure? Yeah. Next year, you can give Amanda to another little girl. One is not so fussy. Well, you can have both toys if you like. No. I'm bored with him. I mean her. Thanks anyway, Santa. 
Excuse me, Dr. Willoughby. You busy? George. <laughs> I'm in Santa. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd stop by to wish you a Merry Christmas and uh, to give you this for the hospital. It's not much. Well, thank you, George. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you, too. Where should I send your receipt? Uh, don't bother. Don't open until tomorrow. Did you give out all those presents? Well, all except for that oddball. Tiffany took it, and then she gave it back. <laughs> well, all she really wanted was to see you for Christmas. One of the other little kids told her there's no such thing as Santa, and then she asked me if it was true. Well, what'd you tell her? Well, showed her this. Hmm. Hey, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Most famous newspaper editorial of all time. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. How drear would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Tiffany? I can't do anything for her. What are you supposed to say to a little girl who's not going to see another Christmas? Ow! Shh. I thought you had to leave. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I do. I do. You came back to see me? Yeah. Wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Alf. And to see if you had any more of those cookies. You ate them all. All right. <laughs> I drew a picture of you. This is me? Pretty good, huh? Well, where's my nose? I didn't have enough room on the page. <laughs> Who's this? It's me. Can't you tell? You're wearing wings. Uh-huh. You're not from the planet Bungarea, are you? No. I'm from Earth. The wings are just... They're beautiful. Did you ever miss Mama? Yeah. I miss it a lot. It was my whole world. Everything and everybody I knew was there. What do you miss the most? My friends. That's what I thought. But, but when I came to this world, I made new friends, like, like the people I live with and you, Tiffany. And I discovered a lot of things on this world that we didn't have on Melmac. Like what? Like, uh, pavement and, uh, silverware. What about Christmas? I don't really have a handle on Christmas yet. People get uptight about presents. That's because they just don't know. Know what? Christmas isn't about presents. It's about giving of yourself. That's what Santa Claus said. After meeting you, I know what he means.
Oh, are you really from way out there? Yeah, somewhere out there. Kate, look at this. Dad, you shouldn't open that till Christmas. Oh, that was an accident. Hey, it's, it's the deed to this cabin. He says, I hope your family will enjoy many more Christmases here at this cabin. No, we can't accept the gift of this cabin. Why not? This place is neat. I want to live here. Don't you, Lynn? Huh? Oh, sure. No. No, no, I mean, I don't want to live here. An occasional visit, you know, if we're in the area, that, that's fine, but... Mr. Foley hardly knows me. Uh, uh, what can he be thinking of? Has anyone seen Alf? Alf. Alf, could you stay with me just until I fall asleep? Hey, no problem. Oh, do you want to know a secret? If you want to tell me. I'm going to have to move on to another world, too. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. And I'm afraid to go, Alf. I know I'm not supposed to be afraid, but I can't help it. It's all right, Tiffany. It's all right to be afraid. You know, maybe in the next world that I'm going to, I'll have Christmas all year round. Could be. And everyone will want to be my friend. I know they will. And maybe... Everyone will be just like you, Alf. Well, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Ha! <laughs> I love you, Alf. I love you too, Tiffany. McDonald in. To a place you'll be glad that you did. Get free. And so much more I want to sell with Toys R Us Kids. Guess what we want, Jeffrey? You want Cabbage Patch Kids. And everything Cabbage Patch is at Toys R Us. We've got the most Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids World Travelers. Collect them all. Wow. The Show Pony and Kid. The whole world of Coleco's Cabbage Patch Kids at out of this world prices. It's the world's biggest toy, so let's go. <laughs> Ooh, something for Santa. Look what I brought you, Santa. Holiday chocolate. Oh, they're red and green. Mm. Mom brought them home for the family. But I saved the bad for you. Holiday's chocolates. Delicious milk chocolate in red and green shells. Now I'll about mine this. There's nothing like holidays for your holidays from the makers of M&M's chocolate candies. More? Go back to the house. Huh? Yeah. 
I'll keep looking. I don't want to quit till we find Alf. But, say, you got to stay warm, you know? Alf's got a fur coat. You don't. But, Dad, what if he gets caught in a trap or, or if a hunter shoots him? Oh, Alf's been around. Yeah, he's had a good life. <laughs> what we mean is, I'm sure Alf knows how to stay undercover. I hope. Okay, men, cover me. Okay, I got everything. Stopwatch, cassette player, Mozart tape, Lamaze book, camera, film, coins for the phone, bag. What about me? Oh my God, Denise. Come on, sweetheart. You should have an easy time, Denise. You're well into labor, so we'll just send you straight to the delivery room. So everything's okay? Everything's fine. You're going to deliver the baby now? Pretty soon. Well, what about the breathing? Don't we get to do the breathing? Well, yeah, we'll all have to continue breathing, of course. <laughs> Doctor, you don't understand. We've been going to classes for months, practicing the breathing, you know? Yes, Richard, I know, but see, the breathing exercises are primarily intended to help the mother get through the, the... Hours of excruciating agony? Exactly. Well, I, I'm still gonna be able to watch the delivery, aren't I? I mean, I really wanna be a part of everything. You can cut the umbilical cord. Uh, not that. We need an IM with 10 milligrams of diazepam. No, no sedatives or painkillers. I wanna be completely awake and aware of everything. It's for him. <laughs> I'm sorry, doctor. I swear, he's not usually like this. Oh, not now, Richard. Kelly, could you help Richard get his equipment inside? I'm going to go in the scrub while Denise is in prep. I need my light meter. Wait, Richard. Yell better. Denise. Yell better. What? Richard. The elevator stuck. Help me! Somebody help me! Denise! Denise! Let's call maintenance quickly. Well, I think they've all gone home. See if Mr. Foley's still around. Maybe he can fix it. Yes, Doctor. Oh, uh, what does he look like? Red suit, white beard. Santa Claus. Right. Breathe, Denise! Breathe! Help is on the way. Denise. George, elevator stuck. Yeah. Somebody, please help me. Denise, Dr. Gordon Shumway. <laughs> no! I know, I know. You already said that. <laughs> really, that's starting to get on my nerves. I told him no drugs. You're not on drugs. Now just relax while I get You're a, a doctor. Uh, yes, uh, um, from Melmac, the uh, Melmac uh, Clinic in Minneapolis. I never heard of it. Uh, Denise, we're stuck in an elevator here. Now is not the time to question my credentials. Now I suggest you calm down, okay? Okay. Good. Now, uh, what seems to be the problem? The problem? I'm gonna have a baby. I see. Did you get a second opinion? <laughs> hey, hey, just covering myself on this malpractice issue. 
Please, Doctor, would you just tell me what to do? No problem. I just need to ask you a couple of questions. Okay, what? Exactly where do babies come from? <laughs> How can a doctor not know where babies come from? Hey, I'm not married. Well, you might get in the elevator through the trap door than the ceiling. Stairs. All right, all right, we've got it. Now, uh, just relax and don't push. It's happening. It's happening. What's happening? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, don't push yet. Any minute now, everything is fine. <laughs> Denise! Denise! Sam! Sam! Daddy's on his way! Daddy's on his way! No wonder there's money in medicine. <laughs> You're the cutest baby in the whole world. Yes, you are. Dr. Shumway, if you hadn't have been here, I don't know how to thank you. You just did. You said thank you. Merry Christmas. Of course, uh, you could name the baby after me. Isn't Gordon an unusual name for a girl? A girl? <laughs> Didn't you notice? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 of course. Of course, I just forgot. I've got a lot on my mind. Big golf tournament coming up. You need a pretty, pretty name for a pretty, pretty little baby. How about Tiffany? Tiffany? That's a nice name. Tiffany. Mm -hmm. <gasps> ah. was the night before Christmas and all through the shop. A creature was stirring and he just wouldn't stop. On chocolate, on strawberry, on vanilla frosted too, go the colors of Christmas made fresh just for you. Red sprinkles, green sprinkles, a face we all know. Canes made of candy, men made of snow. So fill up your sack with your favorite delight. And to all a Merry Christmas in each tasty bar. So the boy fell asleep in the Toys R Us store. And he woke up with toys from the ceiling to the floor. We've got the Nintendo Action Set, including the control deck with double game pack and zapper light gun for just $99.99 at Toys R Us. And we have all the hottest game cartridges at great everyday low prices. Love growing up with my Toys R Us kid. Toys R Us. You'll never outgrow us. It was a bit before Christmas and all through the house, nothing was stirring, not even a... I ran to the kitchen, what could it be? Christmas crunch from McCaffin to me! This crunch is special to make breakfast merry. It's loaded with yummy red and green crunch berries. Very sweet, delicious. But it's only here till Christmas. Christmas crunch is a merry part of this balanced breakfast. Now Captain Crunch has every kid on his Christmas list. Wow. One secret present on each box of Christmas crunch from McCaffin to you. Merry Christmas! Little Hershey's Kisses have big, big chocolate. Little Hershey's Kisses have big, big chocolate. Little Kisses have big chocolate. You're gonna love. Kisses come in silver, red and green. All dressed up for the holiday scene. Little Kisses have big chocolate. You're gonna love. I feel like I want to be doing Look at the smile on my lips I've got that feeling in the ceiling Right at my fingertips So carefree, make pretty plan Milk chocolate melts in your mouth Not in your hand You want to grab on to that m and
Mr. Foley. What? Oh, yeah. yeah well, what is it? I want to talk to you about this. You wasn't supposed to open that until tomorrow. This must be your whole life savings. Yeah, well, that was, uh, that was a tax refund. Mr. Foley, nobody has tax refunds like this. And when people give contributions, they're usually in round numbers. Hundred dollars. Thousand dollars. I want to discuss this further. Why don't you come out to see me the day after tomorrow? I got other plans. George. Sometimes when people lose a loved one, I mean, I know what Margaret meant to you. Good night, Ted. Merry Christmas. Disc washer, S slip disc washer. What a, what is this? A spinal repair kit? <laughs> um, slip disc washer C over handlebar sprocket C insert. Dad. Yeah. Love coming home. He's coming home. I'm sure he's coming home. I hope it doesn't snow. song Christmas Eve, a beautiful silent night. Well, let's have a look at the weather forecast. I'm sure a lot of folks out there are interested. And there's good news for everyone dreaming of a white Christmas. The National Weather Service forecasts four to six inches of snow above 3,000 feet and 12 to 14 inches in the mountains. Now, I'll tell you what, we'll play White Christmas for you in just a moment. But first, here's Perry Como singing Toyland. <laughs> Nice night, isn't it? Get out of here and leave me alone. Don't do it, George. How'd you know my name? Who are you? Do I know you? I don't know. Do you? Wait a minute. You that funny looking toy that's been popping up around me all day. What are you? I'm an alien life form from another planet. Oh, yeah? Well, how'd you get here? In my spaceship. No, oh, no, that's not true. You're a figment of my imagination, and you don't exist. It is true. Oh, it's impossible. You only exist in my imagination. And since I don't believe in aliens from other planets, you don't exist. I'm debating with William F. Buckley. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. 
You Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas? Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus. I just realized he's got a broad face and a round little belly. Shakes when he laughs like a bowl full of jelly. Hey, 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 let's not get personal. I'm gonna do something about this right after the holidays. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. Let's move on. <laughs> Why are you bothering me? Ain't you supposed to be sliding down chimneys bringing toys to the children of the world? Yeah, well, you think that's a one-man job? In the old days, maybe. But now I'm a, I'm an executive Santa. I have to delegate responsibility to people like you. Why me? Who better than you? You made it possible for Brian Tanner to experience a Christmas like the one his father's remembered his whole life. You brought toys to the hospital. And you brought a smile to the face of a dying child. Whether you know it or not, George, you've been making other people happy all your life. How you know all these things? Hey, St. Nicholas knows everything. I know when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. I know if you've been bad or good. You know, the whole ball of wax. And you know why I can't go on anymore. Margaret is gone. I'm sorry. You feel like you lost your whole world. Believe me, I can relate. But you have unfinished business here. There are people you're leaving behind who still need you. And if you know anything about Christmas, George, you'd know this. Christmas is not about what you can get but what you can give of yourself. A little girl taught me that not so long ago. And I don't know where she got it. You're a good man, Foley. And I can't afford to lose you. So let's get this truck on the road. Come on, got things to do. Where to? Take me home. North Pole? I don't think I have enough gas. Then take me to see Willie Tanner. I've been thinking about recruiting him. He has a lot of potential. Oh, great. I've always wanted to see how you go down that chimney. Yeah, me too. Merry Christmas, Nick. And to all a good night. Good night. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Coco, this is the worst Christmas ever. I hear something on the roof. Santa Claus? Probably not. I, I didn't hear any sleigh bells. Well, here goes nothing. It's a raccoon. Willie. Mm -hmm. Willie. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> Elf! Elf! Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas, Fozzie. Oh, boy. What is it? It's a birdhouse. It's the one step, Fozzie. Take a picture. Ow. Just point it and press the button. That's going to be over his head. Point it at what? Now what? It is over his head. Press, Press the button. Hey, this is easy. I'm beautiful. Take more. You see, one step pictures along with the present. And there's no simpler camera. No simpler bear. Polaroid me fun. Milk bone dog biscuits. Dog treats and flavor snacks. Merry Christmas, pal. And now, ideas that give your holidays the personal touch. Try sprinkling sesame seed on buttered Pillsbury Crescent Rolls for a delicate, flaky, extra special dinner roll for the holidays. And for dessert, use your cookie cutters to make decorative holiday cutouts for a pie with Pillsbury Already Pie Crusts. And stay tuned for more creative ideas from Pillsbury. Toys come together to dazzle the hearts of every boy and girl at prices that delight every Santa. It's open now at Zale. And Eileen, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I already told Santa. How little it costs to make someone happy. You do look so familiar. And your voice is so familiar. I guess you must remind me of someone else. Would you care for some TM cookies? Well, thank you. Um, uh, perhaps a little bit later. Right now, I got so much work here, I don't know what to do. Unless I delegate responsibility, how'd you like to be my assistant? What can I do? Uh, how about get me that uh, Crescent Ranch? No problem. Close enough. Tiffany? Yeah? Hi. Well, we're the Tanners. I think we have um, a mutual friend. Ow! Hi, I'm Brian. These are for you. Hello, Willie. Well, Mr. Foley. Say, um, could, could I talk to you just, just for a minute? That would sure. Listen, um... Um, it's not that we don't appreciate this, because we do. We really, really do, and we can't thank you enough. It's just that, um... I, I don't think we'd be able to use it all that often. It's a beautiful cabin, but... In uh, other words, you've got a tax problem. Uh... Potentially. Then I'll just hang on to this and invite you all back next year. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to look out the window. Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. How dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. more than any other time of year. This is the season when millions of people discover Polaroid cameras do what no other kind of camera can do. What's this? Thanks for the milk and cookies and thanks for the beautiful Polaroid picture.
children. Love Santa. Happy holidays from Polaroid. <laughs> video. Then it hit me. I could make everyone happy at Blockbuster. And with Blockbuster gift certificates, Aunt Esther can rent all kinds of mysteries. Uncle Charlie can choose his own adventures. And I can have a wonderful life. Blockbuster video. Give the gift of entertainment. Celebrate the season with Kraft TV special recipes. This colorful, cheesy fruit dip brightens your holiday party. You start with applesauce, pecans, and cinnamon. Then, heat cheese whiz processed cheese bread. The marvelous microwave in a minute cheese sauce. And stir into applesauce mixture. Serve with sliced red and green apples and pears. Start your holiday supper with these hearty sandwiches. Combine sausage, ground beef, and Kraft 100% grated Parmesan cheese. Shape, brown with onions and green peppers, add spaghetti sauce, and serve in crusty French rolls. Favor your guests with this cheesy zucchini casserole. Start with Kraft macaroni and cheese dinner, cause it's the cheesiest. Saute zucchini, add tomatoes, then heat and serve this satisfying dish. This marinated vegetable salad is as easy on calories as it is to make. Combine crunchy fresh vegetables with Kraft zesty Italian reduced calorie dressing and marinate. Add greens and toss, then enjoy this tasty salad. Kraft TV special recipes are in free store folders and in TV Guide magazine. Celebrate the season with Kraft. 